Welcome everyone to another episode of A Bright Side. Today, we thought we'd come up to Plymouth. Just have a mooch around. We just had a bite to eat in Tim Hortons, uh, which is a Canadian restaurant, which is just on the other side of town. Uh, so I did video that, so if you want to watch that video, I'll leave a link in the description. But we've now come to Drake Circus. We are actually in the, up on top of the multi-storey car park. Having a little look down onto the city of Plymouth. Like I said, we've got no game plan. We do want to pick up a couple of like bits of clothes from Matilda. Um, she's had a little growth spirit of late, so we need to um, pick up some clothes, some leggings particularly. Uh, and we'll probably end up getting AJ a couple of bits as well, but that's pretty much it. No major oh. game plan today. We will get a bite to eat later in the afternoon. We've got no car coming up there. We've got nowhere in mind. Uh, where we want to eat, but we're just going to take the day as it comes, point the video, point out the obvious, and have a nice day. And I think that's my shadow right there, waving in the bottom of the screen. Hello! Oh, I'm just still getting over those donuts that I've just consumed in Tim Hortons. That was very delicious, very good coffee as well. Never been in a Tim Hortons in uh, the UK, they've recently come over, so. I was very excited about that. So like I said, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see that video. So I was just saying that we've got no particular game plan today. Nope, we we are, are here... We are spending the Christmas money that's burning a hole in our pockets. That's right. Yeah, I just mentioned that Tilly's had like a little bit of a growth spurt, so we're going to get like some trousers, some trousers and stuff like that for her, yeah. aren't we? Um, it's very bright here. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, no game plan. We will go and get a little bite to eat later, but we've got nowhere particular in mind uh, for a minute. So let's just make this video up as we go. Let's go. And yeah. see where we end up. Well, let me flip the camera around. Hopefully we end up in the shop. So we're in the top of Drake Circus. So we'll have a little mooch around the shopping mall. Oh, I can't get in. What's happening? Ah, there we go. That was the wrong door. All right. I'm not going to bore you all with a, you know, an in-depth view of Drake Circus. Yeah, I'm not going to get the uh, steps down. We're going to uh, head in the lift. Oh, shell bell. There's a five guys here. Oh, I know. Yeah, I was going to say all the Christmas decorations are still up. So we're kind of up in this. Would you describe this as the food hall? Oh, where's that? Oh, I quite like that little restaurant. That's gone. So yeah, well, this is the food Yep. Got a Burger King over there. Spud you like. Oh, there's a place, isn't it? Um, like your smoothies, like American-style smoothies, which are quite nice. But yeah, the Christmas decorations here in Drake Circus are still up. Um, as of a recording of this, at least. We are, what day are we? January something, early January. Um, so, yeah, nice. Oh, I can't believe that this restaurant is closed. Just some good food. I'm sure something else will obviously go back in there. Maybe I'll open up a restaurant, who knows? Okay, head into the escalator. Tilly's loving this. I know, Tilly likes escalators, doesn't she? She does. Yeah. I thought lids were. I've never seen lids over here. Is that the same company? Do you think the, uh, the, hat, company? the hat company? I've never seen them over here. Okay, we've got a jewellery shop on our left, right beside Next. Again, I'm not going to bore you with filming inside of Next. Uh, we've got a three over there. Yeah, there's quite a lot in here. It's not a very big mall, but um, but we like it. But we like it. Yeah, it's quite nice. Not sure when they'll be taking their Christmas decorations. Probably on or around the sort of sixth of January would be my guess. Uh, which is just a couple of days away, so uh, yeah, nice to see them up still. Although I think it's time for you know them to come down. I mean, Christmas is is done. AJ was looking at this watch, the five thousand seven hundred pound watch. Apparently, he wants it. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen. Nice little view, looking down like the what would you call that? Like the main concourse. So what level are we on? Number one. No, we've upper come down, mall. haven't we? Upper Mall. Oh, yeah. so so number one. Well, then one the, the upper mall, then upper mall and, then and then lower mall. mall. Yeah, like I said, it's not a very big shopping mall, is it? I mean, Drake Circus isn't very big. It's been here a few years, isn't it? I don't know, 20 years maybe? It's not overly old, but yeah. 
Yeah, I've never seen lids in this country. It was uh, I've only ever seen it in America. That's usually where I buy my baseball caps in America. Just so you know, fun fact. And what would you call this? The M&S, the Marks and Spencer's side of the mall now? And we've got a Yo Sushi. We have we ate in there oh, a few years ago now, isn't it? But we have actually eaten in there. It was uh, it was quite nice. All the sort of sushi comes around spinning on the... Or does it nowadays? Does it do that nowadays? Because of like Covid and... I don't know if it's... Because it, it, cause it, cause it was like a... Tur yeah, it's a big queue. But it was like a turntable, wouldn't it? In these sorts of places. And you like grabbed it off and all the plates were colour coded, uh, which is what you paid. But I can't see anything in there spinning around. So maybe... Oh no, I can. Yes, I can. So it is obviously still a thing. All right, just, I'm just waffling now, just ignore all that. We've just stepped outside of Drake Circus. Um, AJ just wanted to run a little bit of steam off and he was, he'd been cooped up in a car for a couple of hours, hadn't he? So, um, he <laughs> so we thought we would just let him run it off a little bit. Um, there is one store that I want to go to down on Cornwall Street, which is just like that way, a few hundred yards or whatever. Um, so we will go to that in a minute. Um, and then we will come back to Drake Circus because that's where Primark is, isn't it? Where Tilly you're gonna, there. like the kids are, the kids are over that way. <laughs> the kids want to do the old time big wheel. Oh man, okay. <laughs> oh. This is pretty high, isn't it, Matilda? Oh, we're balancing on the top so that uh, the man can help. Mummy and AJ on. Let me flip the camera back round. Pretty nice views up here though, I must say. I've never um, never been on a, a, like a Ferris wheel up in the middle of Plymouth. This is a first. And here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh we stopped again. You alright? <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> it is a little bit high, isn't it? There's Drake Circus, that's where we've just come from. Where's Drake Circus? That, that building up there with like the funny sort of facade to it. Okay. <laughs> Are you shooing the birds off? No, I'm shooing the fly off your leg. Ah. Okay, we're just stuck here. We're like literally. Oh. Ah. Can't really get a good shot of them, but there they are down there. <laughs> oh, oh dear! Makes what? your tummy go a bit funny, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Wee. Wee. If I'm going to be sick, do it on this side, okay. I don't think I'm going to be sick. But not on the side that the man no. is on. No, no, I won't, no, I won't do that. <laughs> Daddy up here makes my bladder feel funny, and I like it. You do like it, you like the feeling of it. Oh! <laughs> 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 I loved it, I want to do it again! Did you like it? AJ, did you like it? You weren't so struck? Was, what happened? It was a bit high it was and a bit, bit wobbly. A bit high and a bit wobbly, well... To be fair, it was a bit high and a bit wobbly. Yeah, yeah. Good fun. How much was that? Um, uh, £3 a person. £3 a person, okay. But we all... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's right. Okay, right, cool. Okay, I have arrived at Warhammer, heading in. Okay. Picked up the paint I needed. Scrag brown. Right, back on uh, peace now. We're going to go and, uh, I don't know, are we going to um, actually... Have a bit of a wander around. Bit of a wander around. Should we go to, to, to the Barbican before we carry on shopping or whatever? I think that's the plan. Down to the Barbican area and the hoe. I will be requiring the shades. My goodness, it's very bright. Nice little fountain here. What is this little information placard? Say, you know, I like my information. It's 
plaque was unveiled on the 16th of May 1990 to commemorate the twinning of the cities of Plymouth and Don... Oh? Don... somewhere, Sebastian. Donos... I don't know, I have no idea. Anyway, that's what that's for. Check out the size of that anchor. I believe it came from the old Art Royal. Does it say Tilly? This anchor from HMS Ark Royal was presented to the Lord Mayor Councillor Graham Jinks for the City of Plymouth by Admiral of the Fleet, the Lord Hill Norton, on behalf of the Admiralty Board. 24th of April 1980. Yeah, the old Ark Royal. Yeah, she was broken up in... Uh, April? April? April, that's right. That's my birthday. Your birthday is in April, but yeah, check out the size of that anchor. It came from a very large ship, of course the arc roll and what happens to be on top. Wonder how many tons that weighs. That's amazing. What does that say on there? W L Byers W L Byers and Co. Limited. W L Byers and Co. Limited, Sunderland. That is uh, that is an amazing anchor. Like I said, how heavy is that? Me tons. Brilliant. See how small Tilly is compared to that anchor. <laughs> amazing. Well, you might not find it amazing, but I find things like that amazing. Quite an interesting little, um, what do you call this? Like square plaza? Little memorial garden. 1917 to 2017, commemorating the centenary of the formation of the Women's Royal Naval Service and Women's Service in the Royal Navy. Excellent! So, there's loads of memorials up on the uh, Barbican and the Hoe, or the, the Hoe rather, not the Barbican. Um, and we have documented up there before. It was a while ago, actually. I'll, I'll see if I can find that video and leave a link in the description, although I'm sure it's not too hard if you go back through our videos, if you want to see that video, of course. But uh, we'll have a little look up there. Let's head up to the hoe. This very large memorial here is dedicated to the Royal Navy uh, for both World Wars. I believe it's both World Wars. First World War and Second World War. Quite an impressive monument. So a little closer look. Whoa, a little bit slippery here. Almost lost my foot in there. Yeah, 1914 to 1918, and then 1939 to 1945. So it does commemorate both World Wars. But if you're ever in Plymouth, and you've never been up to the Hoe, do pop up, because it's um, very, very nice. And when you uh, get out towards Smeaton Tower, which is right there, you get some lovely views over the sound. So yeah, highly recommend coming up to the Hoe if you've never been here before. And the Barbican. I don't think we're going to have time for the Barbican today because the shops are closing in a few hours and I know the main mission was to re-equip the kids with some clothes. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! You alright? Yeah? You okay, Age? Mama Bear? Yeah. yeah. So he, uh, looked at the statue of Sir Francis Drake. Yeah, he's over there, isn't he? He had a look at Smeaton's Tower. Yeah, had a little look at Smeaton's Tower a minute and a little look across the sound. Um, but yeah, I've, I've said that we're not going to have time to go down to the Barbican today because, uh, you know, time is a little bit um, finite. Daddy! Yeah? A monster foot! A monster foot? Film it on camera. What the monster foot? Let me flip the camera back round. Oh, yeah. Let me get out of it because my shadow was. Yeah, but it's quite a big foot, isn't it? If you think of mine there, look. Yeah. It's a lovely backlit view of Smeaton's Tower there. Date stamp states 1759. This is your view across Plymouth Sound. It is lovely up here, actually. Some parts of Plymouth, you know, like all cities, a bit dodgy, isn't it? You've got to be careful where you go and all that sort of stuff, but actually get into the main sort of area, you know, like up onto the Hoe, Barbican. Barbican's down there, but like I said, we haven't got time for the Barbican today. 
We've documented it before, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. I think that's a fancy restaurant now. It used to, I've got a feeling it used to be called the Plymouth Dome. It used to be like a bit of an amusement thing. You would go in and it would like chart the history of Plymouth. Um, it's been gone many, many years. I, like I, said, I believe it's a restaurant now. But uh, yeah, and there's the other side of Smeaton's Tower. Again, that date stamp, 1759. That's a long time. I've got a feeling Wolf entered uh, Quebec. I've got a feeling that might have been 1759. When Wolf, General Wolf, went to Quebec, or Quebec, I believe it's pronounced like Quebec, Quebec, in Canada. Yeah, there's a lot of sun there in the frame, a lot of sunlight, but it doesn't detract from the uh, beauty. It really is lovely. I like it up here. Right, so, we're done with the hoe, we're going to head back down into the city now and carry on with our shopping. I won't film too much of that, you really don't want to see us tramping around uh, clove stores and stuff like that. Um, I might show a couple of little bits, but generally, we're going to skip on a couple of hours and go get a bite to eat. The original pasty house. Very debatable. Okay, heading back into the mall, back into Drake Circus. Like I said, I'm not going to pho um, phone, <laughs> I'm not going to film too much in there because, uh, you know, like I say, you don't want to see us shopping, but we will uh, go and get a bite to eat in a minute. I don't really like clove shopping, I find it intensely boring. Even for myself, I don't really like clove shopping. <laughs> a Greg's hoodie? And um, that's, you know, that's a very interesting thing. Who on earth would, like, wear a Greg's bakery? I mean, all kitted out with the trousers and blue hoodie, that's just... <laughs> That's amazing. I want socks! Right, I think we're done in Drake Circus. We've got everything that we've needed to get. We've got some... Basically, it was it was um, clothes for the kids, which was the priority. Uh, it's about three o'clock now. It's about three o'clock, um, and we did have, like, that brunch before midday. So we're getting a little bit peckish. I know the kids are hungry, so we're going to stop and try and find uh, we fancy some chicken. We're going to try and find Nando's. It's been years since I've eaten in Nando's. Actually, a long... Oh, I see it right there at the end. So, yeah, it's been a long time since I've had chicken in Nando's. So, uh, hopefully there's some space. I would have thought so, being at three o'clock. It's not late or early. It's just in the middle. Okay, there it is. It actually looks busier than I thought inside. We'll see what the availability is. If it is too busy, we'll, um, we'll come back out and, and well, go someplace else, yeah. Okay, that's a no-go in Nando's. It was a 45-minute wait for food. We don't want to wait 45 minutes, so we're going to go over that way and see if there's availability. Okay, Shelley's just checking out the menu of Las Iguanas, which is obviously Latin American food. I'm not sure if the kids will... What do you think, Mama Vera? Do you think the kids will eat Mexican? It looked really nice in there, but there wasn't a huge amount for the kids to eat. Um, I don't know we might have we might we might come back here. What we're going to do is check out Five Guys and if they've got availability because we know the kids will eat in Five Guys. Um, so that's just down the way here. But like I said, if it if if that one's full, then we'll um, probably end up coming back to that one. Okay, Shelley is um, ordering something here in Five Guys. You ready for a burger? Um, yeah. Sandwich. You want a sandwich? Well, a burger is a type of sandwich, isn't it? Okay, waiting on order number 71. And what they'll do, they'll obviously call it out and we'll go pick it up. Nice. I do like a Five Guys. Uh, they're very nice burgers, aren't they? Yes. They're quite expensive, I think, for fast food. Yeah. But uh, they are very nice. Is it nice? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it came to 45 pounds and change. A little bit pricey, but I think they are worth it. They are very nice burgers when it comes to like fast food things. So let's let's see what we've got here. Bacon and cheese burger. Oh yeah. That's looking good. Just that. Yeah. Is it good? You like it? 
Grilled onion, tomato and lettuce. That's why I got bacon. Yeah. Look at all that burger goodness. That's really good. That, and the bacon's really crispy. Thumbs up. It reminds me a little bit. It's not like retro in like it's not purposely designed to be like 50. But it's, just, it's got like 50 vibe. That diner vibe, it's like um, it reminds me a bit of Johnny Rockets. And just like that, we're back where we started. That's a small fortune spent. <laughs> I had everything worked out what I was going to say and then it just disappeared from my head, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> we just spent a small fortune. We did, but... You know. It was, but it was necessary things, wasn't yeah, it? It so was like you, um, clothes. Tilly got lots of clothes for Christmas, but they were all like tops, so she had no trousers, so we had to go and get her some trousers. And AJ grows at the speed of, like, slowness, but <laughs> just for fairness sake, he got a couple of bits. And yeah. And we accidentally went into the toy shop and they got a toy each. <sighs> yeah, but some of that was like their own money, wasn't it? That they had from um, from like Christmas. Christmas. It was like their own money. So I quite enjoyed the day. It, it was nice. I did enjoy Tim Hortons this morning. Again, yeah. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see that video because yeah. uh, I'm really like chuffed that they've come over to this country. And fingers crossed they're going to move forever west. Well, yeah, fingers crossed That's indeed, home. yeah. Um, and yeah, just actually just... Like I said, no game plan. We just had a bit of a chill, didn't we, in Plymouth? And yeah. like, like we just said, spent a, a small fortune. So <laughs> never mind. As always, thank. Are you going to look? <laughs> I, I, I'm like being blinded. <laughs> As always, <laughs> she's off her head. Anyway, she's trying to put me off. But as always. Thank you for watching. It is much appreciated. Uh, we are. Who are we? We are. We are. Who are we? We are. We are. We are on social media. Hang on a minute. We have. <laughs> Hang on. It's like we've been drinking, but we haven't. We've only been like drinking like some Coca Cola and Five Guys, haven't we? I've got Coke um, Zero. I've not even got sugar. To oh yeah, that's true. Think. Yeah. Anyway, do like, <laughs> do like, do like, do like. What am I talking about? <laughs> anyway, like the video. Like the video. Subscribe, Subscribe. to the bright side. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the bell and you'll never miss it on any video that we put on YouTube. We are on social media. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at The Bryce Side. So check us out there. So from us to you. Cheers. <laughs> and a very disorderly outro. Cheers, Cheers and, and gone. gone.